hi guys welcome back to my channel so the video I have for you today is going to be another empties video I love filming these for you guys you guys seem to love them and I've gone through a lot of products and a lot of products I want to talk to you guys about so if you want to see what's in my trash then just keep watching and we'll get started bye I apologize if my face is looking a little dewy it's so hot in my room it's literally like a thousand degrees in here <sighs> I cannot wait to move I cannot wait to move we are moving soon so that is a plus all right let's go ahead and see what I've been collecting the empty products I've been collecting for the past few months okay I have them all in this Bath and Body Works bag right here so we're just gonna zip through this as quick as possible because there are a lot of products okay the first thing I have in here is the Target up and up fresh cucumber baby wipes and I use these like to wipe off makeup or swatches like when I'm doing my makeup in the morning and I really like these you get 70 72 wipes for like $1.75, so you really can't beat that. This has been a constant repurchase, and I will definitely continue The to. next item I have in here is the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water, and this is the waterproof version. There's like a pink one and a blue one, and I have repurchased this. It is absolutely amazing. I'm obsessed with this. Uh, it, I just put it on some cotton pads and use it to take off my face makeup and all my eye makeup. It even takes off like lipstick and stuff. So it's really awesome. Uh, you can get this at Target or like any drugstore. And I really want to do a nighttime skincare routine video soon which would be including this. So if you're interested in seeing that let me know because I really want to film one. So yeah, definitely a must have. If you have not tried this, do yourself a favor and go buy it. The next item I have in here is just a bottle of nail polish remover and this is from Big Lots and it's just the acetone version. It's just nail polish remover. Uh, I usually get like the Target or the Myers or the Kroger brand, but it was cheaper at Big Lots so I went ahead and got it there. It's just nail polish remover. I'm always going to repurchase this, so it doesn't matter where it comes from as long as I'm getting the pure acetone version. The next thing I have in here is one of my husband's items, and this is the Suave, yes, you guessed it, Suave, uh, two times fresh and clean men, men's body wash, and it's in the refreshing splash version, scent, whatever. Uh, you know how we feel about Suave. Suave, can you please sponsor me? Please? <laughs> we love Suave. We've repurchased it so many times. Hair products, body products, everything. So that's that. The next thing I have in here is the Pantene Pro-V Daily Moisture Renewal Shampoo. And I just have the shampoo. We're not done with the conditioner yet, so it's still in my shower. Uh, I got this from Aldi, that's where we do our grocery shopping, and it's just, I just love my Suave, so I went back to Suave after we used this, so yeah. I have another thing of baby wipes, and these are from Aldi, these are the Lullabies baby wipes and you get like 56 for like a dollar something so the target one is definitely a better deal because you get more so that's that the next thing i have in here is a victoria's secret ultra rich cream wash in the verbena scent and this stuff is really really moisturizing it's really really good so if you can find this still i suggest this um on the back it says touchably soft beyond smooth it has cotton moisture complex for ultimate hydration, refreshing verbena, replen replenishing rice milk and coconut oil. I actually got this on Mercari because I bought my cousin the matching body butter, which they discontinued. So I found it on there and this came with it. So I sent her the body butter and I kept the body wash for myself. It is good, but it's then again, it's just body wash and I have a ton of other, this other ones that I need to use it. 
The next item in here is the L'Oreal Paris Go 360 Clean Ideal Clean Deep Facial Cleanser for Sensitive Skin. Uh, just a face wash, and it has like the little scrubby thing, which I took out because I keep it in my shower for other face washes. Uh, I went back to my Clean and Clear exfoliating it's like really cooling and it comes in like a bluish green bottle and it has exfoliating beads in it and it's really really good so I went back to that I probably wouldn't repurchase this so yeah the next thing in here is the clean and clear morning burst fruit infusions smoothing facial scrub and I got this for really really cheap at like TJ Maxx or Marshalls I saw this in like the cosmetic section so I grabbed it it smells so good and like I said, I love clean and clear face washes, so I have been repurchasing, repurchasing these over and over again. I have another clean and clear night relaxing deep cleansing face wash. And this is one you use at nighttime and it kind of just calms you and relaxes you. It smells really good. So yeah, I love clean and clear. The next thing in here is a suave. Surprise, surprise. Suave Firm Control Hairspray. This is my absolute favorite hairspray ever. I've repurchased this so many times, and I already have. Uh, I also purchased the Suave Humidity, Anti-Humidity Hairspray. It comes in like a gold bottle, um, and that stuff is really, really good. It's supposed to like calm your frizz and your flyaways and keep your hair straight and humidity free for like 48 hours, which I love that. You guys are seeing that and we'll be seeing that in an upcoming empties. Definitely love this and recommend it. The next thing I have in here is the Airspun Loose Face Powder in the color Naturally Neutral. And I love this powder. You can get it at like Walgreens and Walmart and it's usually like near the nail section, which is really weird. They don't keep it in like the actual cosmetic section. I don't know why. It's like six or seven dollars and you get a good amount of product, uh, 2.3 ounces. And it smells like a grandma. So if you have, if you're sensitive towards smells of products, I wouldn't suggest this. But it is a really good face powder for like baking your makeup and setting your under eyes and setting your foundation. So my grandma used this. <laughs> I always remember seeing this in her bathroom, but I would definitely repurchase this. I just haven't yet. The next item I have in here is the Revlon Color Stay 24 Hour Combination Oily Skin. Um, foundation and I love these because they added a pump to them now and I am in the color 200 nude and this is one of my holy grail foundations I'm actually have I actually have two other different foundations that I'm actually trying to use up right now but I repurchased this many many times here is the Milani baked blush in luminoso and this is one of my holy grail blushes I have used it like all the way down to the bottom uh, it comes with a mirror and a little brush but I definitely need to repurchase this. It's one of my favorites. If you haven't ever tried this, please do. It is just the perfect like peachy coral color and it's, it's amazing. So yeah, love that. The next thing I used up is a Bath & Body Works pocket back in cool coconut colada. You know, it's just your typical hand sanitizer. Um, and I always get these, so I've always repurchased these. I used up a Nicole by OPI Drying Drops, and these are just the drops you put on your nails after you've painted them. Uh, these work really, really well. I would repurchase this, I just haven't yet, and I think it's about 6 or $7 for this bottle. And it lasted me probably a good 5 to 6 months, so they last a long time. The next thing I have in here is the Meet Matt Hughes by The Bomb Committed, um, one of the little minis that came in the Ipsy bag. <sighs> you guys know how I feel about this lip color. It is my holy grail, ride or die, long lasting liquid lipstick. I usually wear this every day, it's my everyday go-to lip color. I'm not wearing it today, go figure. 
but I used up like three or four of these little mini ones and I actually went out and purchased the full size one from Kohl's because they do sell it there and I am pretty much out of that one too so I need to repurchase it I just haven't done it yet I think the full size is like $17 from Kohl's pretty good deal lasts a long time and you guys this color is just to die for it's my absolute favorite it is like the perfect mauvey dusty rose color and I highly highly suggest this for any skin tones Oops. I used up a Maybelline fit me uh, concealer and I am in the color 15 fair this has been a constant repurchase I've already repurchased it it's a holy grail holy grail product do you guys want to see a holy grail product video I feel like I should make one because I have so many I also want to do a favorite products from ipsy video so let me know if you want to see those because I feel like those would be really fun videos to film but yeah Definitely recommend this. It's a dupe for the uh, Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. It's it's that good. It's that good. I threw this in here. I didn't really like it. This is a Tristique uh, Concealer Crayon. And I got this in an Ipsy bag. It's kind of too, um, it's too orangey for me. And it's in the color Bisque. So I used it a few times. I don't like crayons for my concealer. I like the liquid. So I threw that in there. Definitely would not repurchase that. And I have a bunch of liquid eyeliners. So I used up the Urban Decay 24-7 Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner in Perversion. And this is just a brush on liquid liner. I think I got this with a palette that I got from them a long time ago. It's just black. It dries black. Um, I wouldn't repurchase this because I like my e.l.f. ones better. So, yeah. The next one I have is the L'Oreal Carbon Black Liner Intense Felt Tip Liquid Eyeliner. <laughs> Funny story. This fell behind my dresser like under my heater because we have like those heaters that are on the wall and it fell under there and I was moving furniture around and cleaning up the room and I found this and I bought this like four years ago <laughs> so I threw it in here because obviously it's too old to use but it's just your typical felt tip liquid eyeliner so yeah that's that The next eyeliner is my Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Pen, and this stuff is amazing. It's just your felt tip, and it seriously lasts all day. It is waterproof. You can get it at Ulta or Sephora. I think it's like $21. This has been a repurchase for me over and over again. Um, I think there's still some left in here. I don't know why I threw this in my empties. Look at that. I threw it in my empties, but I think I'm going to put this back in my makeup collection because it's not empty yet. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> and my last product is the Maybelline Brow Define Fill Brow Define and Fill Duo. This is my holy grail brow product. It has your pencil on the one side. And then it has a little cap filled with brow powder on the other side and this little felt tip spongy thing. And I wear the color soft brown. It's just worked for me for such a long time, ever since this came out. I do have a review on this on my channel, so if you guys want to see it, I'll link it below. But yeah, I love this. So I would definitely recommend this. I repurchased, repurchased it many, many times. And I just love it. Okay, so that is all of my empties. Uh, please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.